Well, good morning, people. How are you all diddling? Welcome to another Car Talks. So, without further ado, let's crack on with it. Yeah, good morning people, how you all diddling? It's a lovely sunny, warm day. It's like coolness to the air, which is obviously how I prefer it. Just a little bit of running about today, a bit of shopping. Need to go to Morrison's, fill up my tank, pick up a few bits from Morrison's itself. I'm gonna pop down and see John and Chrissy. And then on the way back, I'm gonna call to Lidl. Cause I need to do some shopping. Although I might leave little until tomorrow. See how I feel. Hope you enjoyed my last walk video. Made a change from car talks, which, let's face it, are a little bit boring. Well, they're not boring. I, the, the, my car talks are just like motor vlogs. You know, with the camera here, as opposed to just like on a motorbike where the camera's on my helmet and wherever I look, the camera looks. And I'm talking to you as I'm riding along. So yeah, this, this is just like motor looks, but in a car. In fact, I'm in a motor car, so it is still technically a motor vlog. Obviously it's not the same because I'm not on a motorbike and I can't feel the wind in my face unless I stick my head out of the window like a dog. And I get stuck in traffic. So as for the, uh, as for the position, uh, of the camera and me talking yes it's just like a motor vlog nothing else is though good day ho such is life I say, I say, I say, I say such is life right here I am at Morrison's so uh, I'll speak to you in a bit well hello again people I spent way more than I was hoping in there. That's beeping because I ain't got my seatbelt on. Might as well wait here for him to go, so he's just got in his car. Right. It were rather nice, sir. Uh... Oh, I've seen an absolutely wonderful device. You know I like filming shit. I'm always filming stuff. Yeah, I've got a I've got a plethora of filming devices. Anyway, air rifle. Scope I've got on my air rifle is a little bit on the naff side. Yeah, front optics are only 32. So they don't let in a great deal of light and the view's a bit rubbish. So I've been looking at a new scope. But I've also been looking at ways to, to film my shots. And when I've got it right, my hunts, my pest control. And there is a plethora of devices out there for for filming your hunts and your shoots and target practice and whatnot. Anyway, I stumbled across a video, and I can't remember who it was, and he was using one leaf scope attachment. It's a device and it's got all sorts of weird tech on it, but it also records, oh, it's night vision as well, but it also records um, video or photos, or both. And because it's it's a direct scope attachment, it just attaches onto the scope you've got. Well, providing you haven't got a 32. 
I think it needs um, a larger eyepiece to actually fit. I think smallest is 42 mil, I think. So I was looking at that and then I was looking at um, scopes. I want a minimum of a 40 mil. Ideally, I'd like a 50 mil. What was that? Yeah, ideally a 50 mil, and I'd like zoom and I, I, other things that I want on a scope. So I'm thinking, bloody hell, for a decent scope and this device, it's going to cost me the best part of 600 quid. But then I saw they do a scope with it, and it's a bloody good scope. I think in total for the scope and this device, it's a night sight with video and photo function and other things. It's got built-in um, infrared light, not infrared light, yeah, infrared light, that goes up to 275 yards. No, 375 yards it reaches. <coughs> not that you'd ever be able to shoot a spring air rifle, a sub-12 air rifle, that distance. But yeah, it looks mint, and I want it. I am going to upgrade my air rifle to a PCP. There's some lovely ones out there. But again, I'm looking at about 400 quid for a decent PCP 2.2 air rifle. And I'm going to go see Pete and see if I can go do a bit of pest control on his farm. And I'm going to travel to other farms and ask about, see if I can do a bit of pest control. And that is twofold. There's a, a reason for this. One is that I'm doing pest control and it's damn sight easier to get permission to do pest control with an air rifle or catapult. No, could use my catties. Damn sight easier to get permission to do that. Once I've got permission and they see that I'm an alright bloke and I'm doing them a service free of charge, then I'll see if I can have permission for metal detecting. So it's going to be a foot in the door. Hopefully I should get some more permissions out of it. You know, that isn't the aim of taking up shooting. Yeah, you know, the point of taking up shooting is because I enjoy it and it's not as strenuous of, as some things. I the walking and stuff. You know, I can get out, I can do a decent walk while I'm out on a shoot. Fresh air, exercise, but without all the hurting, because I hurt a hell of a lot when I'm going for my walks now. Yeah, right. I'm at JNC's. See if they're in. So, uh, yeah, I will speak to you in a bit. Well, hello again, people. How are you all diddling? <clears throat> right, which is the best way? I'll go left and buy it hospital. Well, I had a, a lovely hour or two down at John and Chris's. Timed it just right as well as I turned up just as John were making bacon egg sandwiches. So I got a bacon egg sandwich and a cup of tea. It was cracking. Thistle's growing now. Thistle the robin. Bounding about everywhere, flying as well. Chris has done a grand job. It's not too hand tame either. For feeding, yes. But not for actually being handled. Right, nearly at little. Let's see what bargains I can get. I'm staying away from middle of little though. Unless there's something obnoxiously great. Now, if there's something really, really good, and I might have a gander. I think this is the exact same parking spot as last time. Right, speak to you in a bit. Well, hello again, people. Oh, I'm gonna have to put fan on. No, oh. that's better. Sorry about noise. Oh, I do like little. Two big bags full. Those big bags for life. Thirty-three quid. What more could you want? Yes, I way overspent at Morrison's, but I way underspent at Lidl. I mean, the only reason why I way overspent at Morrison's 
is because I bought double the amount of monster energy that I normally get. I bought a two litre bottle of vodka. I bought the eight pounds fifty bottle of blackcurrant mead. So that all added up. You know, it's stuff that I don't normally get. But at least I've got something to have a drink with now. I had two big bottles of Pepsi Max to go with the vodka. But when I'm feeling shit, which is often, I can have a drink on an evening and feel even more shit the next morning. But the good thing about that is that, yes, I get drunk on, on the night, then the next day, most of the morning, I feel shit. Then I have a really good sleep and next day I feel fantastic. So if there's all that I need to do, that I might find a little bit stressful or anything, I will have a drink the night before the night before. Because I know the day after the day after, I'll feel right as rain. If any of that makes any sense to you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic, says the alcoholic. <laughs> but I'm not, because I'll only have a drink twice a month, you know, twice a month, or during a bad month, three times a month, which does not imply in the slightest that I'm an alcoholic. But when I do drink, I like to drink. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's why I spent so much at Morrison's, because I bought alcohol and drinks to go with alcohol. I used to live in Denmark. Some of you may know, some of you may not. And in Denmark, I used to buy bags of Danish pastries. And I'd have them in my room at the school where I was living. I was a teacher. Um, and I'd, I'd have them as snacks, I'd have them for my breakfast, for my supper. You know, I'd always have a big bag of Danish pastries. Because they're like 10 pence each. You, know, you go to the corner shop, buy a carrier bag full of Danish pastries for like two, two fifty. In fact they probably worked out at five pence each. So when I go to Lidl I always buy a bag of Danish pastries. They're nothing like proper Danish pastries. Well they are, they look similar but they don't taste anything like a proper Danish pastry in Denmark. <clears throat> but they are nice and it gives me a nice glowy feeling when I'm eating them of memories when I was a teacher in Denmark. Anyway, Ugh. I'm back home. I think I've overdone that. Yep. A little bit past. Then straighten up. <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm home now. Ah, that's a bit better. No noise from the fan. Yeah, I'm home. I hope you've enjoyed this car talks. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for. F uh, being with me. So, be safe, be strong, and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.